Well, hello, Gravitown Twins. How y'all doing? It's later than you think. Yeah. Uh, do you know what we got to spring forward tonight? One hour so where we're at right now, 7.20. It's 8.20. I'm already getting tired. Are you 8.20 tired now? Yeah. <laughs> I've been thinking about it, real strong. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to be up all night? Yeah. So, if you're, if you're living where they change time, so I know some of y'all don't, um, we got to spring forward tonight. I know Australia, I think y'all spring forward next month or something, don't you? Then y'all from Australia, tell us what y'all do. Mmm. Mama, we ain't cooking tonight. Mama actually brought home food today. That's <laughs> unusual. Uh, we had roast beef sandwiches for supper about 4.30. Yeah. Um, today was a rare day. Mama had a Saturday event. Friday night, Saturday event. She was making contacts with Tupperware. Mom, did you meet any people? Yeah. How'd you do? What'd you, how'd you like it? We've done good. I hadn't been out in the public or doing nothing like that in a long, long time. So. You know what? Never allowed out in the public? Well, you know what I mean. Doing stuff like that, meeting so many different people. <laughs> Sorry. That was totally me. That wasn't even Mama this time. No, I'm not even close to it this time. Um, look what Mama brought back. Big old cookies. That's an Easter egg, isn't that pretty? And here's a shamrock. One of my friends, well, here, I'll hold up this one. One of my friends was down there selling these, and she hooked Mama up with some cookies. Little bunnies. Yeah, these are not just bunnies. What are these? Somebody tell me what this is. Easter bunny. What is this? Oh, no. Wow. What is this? Look at the simplicity of it. Don't be fooled by the color. I'm going to wait and see if y'all know. Mm -hmm. Mama's whispering. What is it? She's wanting the answer. Mama, you know what that is. A bird, yeah. Tell Mama I missed her last night. Uh -huh. Mama, they missed you last night. Ain't Pat did. Uh -huh. Ain't Pat and... I'm, I can't read all your titles, Miss Pat. Hey, Linda. Oh. Yes, Tabby, you got it. What is it's a peep. It's a peep, a blue peep. Um, the lady who makes this loves peeps, and she was so excited when this particular cookie cutter came in. She was a friend of mine, and she said, my peep cutters come in. I said, what is a peep cutter? And she said, for Easter, for peeps. So she's got yellow ones, pink ones, blue ones. Oh, yeah, uh, she so, had a whole tray. It was... Like, she had them yeah. lined up in colors. And See, it's just that little simple peep face that everybody knows. But these are beautiful. She does such a good job. Uh, um, this one used to be a shamrock. Well, it, it still is a shamrock, Mama. It's just been tested with some coffee. Product control. These will all be tested with coffee, I'm sure, and tea and whatever else you drink. So... Baking my day is what she calls herself, and I think that was bakes my day right here. All right, so that is wonderful. She also made some uh, oh, wonderful you can tell cupcakes. For them. <laughs> well, there's four of them missing. We, they don't make eight for them. You just, you just, we're just gonna keep you a mystery. There could have only been four in there to start with. All right. I was six, but we didn't need four. <laughs> So what are y'all up to? Good evening. Hey, Nancy. Mama, they missed you last night. Well, I think I missed you. Did you watch us last night? A part of it. I was so tired when I got in. I didn't watch a whole lot. So tell them what you did. Tell them about the whole thing. Oh, about the whole thing. I, I mean, it was just, it was at the gym at the high, high school. High school, yeah. And there was a lot yeah. of vendors there. And it was just like homemade cookies, homemade treats, homemade crafts. A homemade soap. She just had goats. Um, April Brown had those. In, in like uh, jewelry. It could also food. be Tupperware and candles and mugs and Tupperware, but it, you know, it's all the crafty stuff. Yeah, a lot of beautiful things. Hello, John and Mama. Hey, hey, Wanda. So you and they had a, a concession thing, and they sold hot dogs and. Nachos and cheese. They had food that you could buy. And mm. It was really good. 
a little torn on the old woman, but really good. Mama, you can say that, but you had that gleam in your eye. Mama gets this gleam in her eye, and she can't get enough of it, and she works day. She'll be up late at night going through stuff to take, and it was like getting ready for a party. Mama loves the party. Nobody loves the party like Mama loves the party. <laughs> and by party, I mean family event. Um, getting together, cooking, and getting things together, and Mama has had fun all week getting ready for this event. Mm -hmm. And she's already, she's so tired. She's already like, and we're going here, and we're going to do this. She's already looking forward to the next one. So that's what it's all about at Mama. Yeah. That's why we do it. Um, that's why Mama does it. Is she loves the interactions. She loves the group. She loves the meetings. And a lot of people recognize me and talk to me. I love that part of it. Yeah, when she's out, and y'all come and say, hey, Mama. She loves it. Uh, she said her... She didn't realize she was changing her whole name to Mama. Everybody calls her Mama now. So, <laughs> yeah. even if people have known her for years, she's now Mama. Um, but that's okay. I always wanted a lot of kids. You always did, and yeah. grandkids. So now you're Mama to everybody. Yeah. So I got a. Hey, John. Name. I'm from Kentucky. Hey, Nathan. How are you? Good evening, Sherry. I've got you on so far away. You're not too far, but for my eyes. I'm trying to, I got my notice today. I can't even see the lines hardly. It's so far away. I got my notice today that said, hey, get in here let's look at your eyes. So I know I got to go. Happy Saturday. Hey, Christine. Saturday. It's Saturday. It's um, cool today. We're in one of the winters that we have here in the it South. It looks beautiful, but the wind has this. Oh, it's been pretty. Chill to it. But it's cold today. Even I was a little cold outside earlier. I thought, it's a little chill. They knocked her internet out. Um, I tell my friends, if you had been watching me, you would have known what's going on. <laughs> I give them a hard time sometimes. Anyway, Mama had a great time. I cooked. Yeah. Did you see what I cooked last night? Yeah. I thought she would eat some of it today, maybe. I told you. She got home all day. I wasn't home. I home. early this morning. We got up this morning, had breakfast, and zoop, she said, I got to go. I said, I thought it was at 2 o'clock today. She said, no, it starts yeah. at 10. <laughs> I have no idea. I barely can keep up my own schedule. Yeah. So, are you got big plans next weekend or are you going to hang around no, with us? No, it's, I ain't nothing planning next weekend. Not Just, as of yet, I'll say that. <laughs> she might hang around with us a minute. Mama, tell us what, tell them what you got planted already. Oh, I've discussed. The little dab of onions and just a small thing of lettuce. Try to get a first. I put what a few seeds I had out with lettuce. It burned very much, but I'm going to get me some when I and come to town. And you bought, or you're, you got? Oh, I bought the sweet potatoes. I bought a little bag of the, what did I tell you, Yukon you goats, goats. And Kenny Beggs. And Kenny Beggs. And you're going to get some reds. Yeah, I'm going to get you some reds. I don't know where I'm going to claim it. I may have to. Have the garden hard. <laughs> you won't all day. We go through this same cycle. Um, they don't have to be a long home. We'll just put them in a bucket. We'll put them in a five gallon bucket. See what we can come up with. Hi, Mama and John. Hey, Beatrice. How are you? I know you had fun, Mama. Sharon says, yeah. yeah, Mama has fun with everything. Um, Mama enjoys all kinds of stuff like that. Any kind of group activity, count on me. The kids fascinates me. I said, there was one little old girl, she was just throwing kisses and 15 minutes old, and she would do her sad face, and then it would, she'd pout up, and she'd lie. I said, that just thrilled me all over to watch those kids. And the Easter Bunny was there today, and they oh. was taking pictures. It's they, early. Well, you have to have him when it's <laughs> the event. That's when we had it. Yes, yes, will delay him on packing eggs. Yeah, two little girls had little Easter outfits on, little dresses with the bunnies on them. So cute, dressed to life. Mm -hmm. Easter will be when April. Just be here for you, bad an hour. April. It's early in April this year. Yeah, isn't? I think so. It goes by the equinox. Yeah. Alright, so what are y'all up to? Hey, John and Mama from Montana. Wow. Hey, Teresa, we love Montana. We've been to Montana. You must have high volume. 
Charles. I don't know what their names. Hello to you both. Uh, thank you. She's enjoying this visit. Thank you, Jill. Hey, Sherry. Thank you for the star. She gave us a little star there. Uh, thank you. I met one lady and she said, she Where did Mom go, Roxy? Seen me out here one day and said, I was talking at the store and said, just going on. So she said, Why? I didn't know she tried to have me. I said, That been a, must have been a day that I was really keyed up. <laughs> She talks. Heist of the night. Steve Duncan says it's Easter is the night. Steve, is it that early? Yeah. I wow. said be here for you, baby. What is it? Is it the something to do with the first something after Equinox? I, for, I used to know more about it. I forgot. I'll look it up. Yeah, Mama can talk. Dude. Just because she don't talk to y'all on camera, it's because she's camera shy. And you know, she don't want to be left alone and she wants me to be here to... to chat. And I try to get her to do videos by herself. She knows how to turn it on. She knows the whole thing. And I said, Mama, why don't you make something in the crock pot today and you could film it even before I get home and we won't have to rush it. Then. No, sir, re. I'm not doing that. What's the re mean on the end of no, sir? We said that in the South. No, sir, re. That's to pinpoint it down. It's important. <laughs> I, I, I've always wondered, what's the re for? No, sir, re. <laughs> hey, from Texas, turn your clocks forward to night. Thirty, yes. It's already bedtime. <laughs> it's eight thirty-two now, and you know tomorrow it will be. Um, but in the morning it'll be. I think it's really at two o'clock in the morning or something. You do it. Set it up. I do mine before I go to bed and just have wrong clocks for a couple of hours. I don't look at them no way, so it don't matter. More and more people don't even have clocks anymore. They have, they just use their phones. Uh, I, I have friends that don't have any clocks to set. Because I meant to say, said something about the electricity blinking off and on. I said, I've set clocks all day, my goodness. And they said, you still set clocks? You're so old timey. I said, I know. And it ain't You're the truth. But everybody has one on their on their stove, surely, that has to be set in their microwave. Although one of my friends said, I don't use a microwave clock. Is there an option to not use it? I know there's an option not to get a beep at the end, but I've seen on TikToks and stuff where they say you do this and hold this for 10 seconds. None of it works for hours. I don't put anything in there and leave it that I need a beeper. And this one has got the most annoying... Beep. It beeps like six times. And I'm right there in my, I mean, I'm just heating a cup of coffee. I'm just heating a little bit of water. And it's beep, beep. I'm like, okay, I got it. I got it. Y'all talk to your appliances. Wait, you get that from me. <laughs> I hear mama in here. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> I know she's put something in the microwave. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm right here, she'll say. <laughs> I'll do what I do. If I'm standing there, when it gets to one second, I open that door and then hit clear. Are y'all that way? Do you hate to hear? I hate anything repetitive, like a phone ringing. And if I'm watching a TV show and their phone rings three, four times, you know, sometimes they're dead when they're calling them. <laughs> on my show. On mom's show. <laughs> You know, they'll be laying there in the apartment and the camera will show them they're dead and then they'll show the phone ring and they'll show them laying. I'm like, answer it, somebody answer it. It rings six, eight, ten times. I then turn the channel. Now, if you want to lose me on a show, give me a bunch of, or an alarm going off. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gone. I'm done. I'm done long gone. Car alarms they have down there. Those mother oh, shows. Yeah. They go off bad. <laughs> Is that because I'm impatient or what? And I don't yeah. like songs that repeat. I hate songs that just have one or two words and they repeat and repeat and repeat. I can't take it. You wouldn't do it you'd have kids. Sent, well, thank you, Barbara, for the stars. I'm with Mama. My appliances are... Uh, Persistent, but yeah, they are. They're, they're bad news sometimes. Uh, 
John, I need help coming up with an Easter dinner menu. Looking for something different. Well, let's see who said that. Brandy, let's talk about it. So, have you ever made pretzel salad, strawberry pretzel salad? That's wonderful for Easter lunch. Uh, so is pineapple casserole if you're having ham. Pineapple casserole is delicious for Easter lunch. We always have that with our ham. We have it at Christmas have too. Ham. You have roast beef and stuff too. Yeah, you could have roast beef if you're not going to have ham. But those are two great Easter um, Easter side dishes. Side dishes. You can uh, have, of course, deviled eggs, and you can, for Easter, you can soak them in uh, food coloring. I mean, it's probably not the best for you, food coloring is food coloring, but you can color your boiled egg whites uh, for Easter look. That's different. And let me tell you what not to do, unless, well, with our family. So Mama gets this idea off the internet one year. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> and for our deviled eggs, she made little chicks in them. And she, they were cute as they could be. Took a little carrot chip, made it some... Took a carrot, shredded it, made a little nose. It's beef. And she took some black olives and made little eyes. They were the cutest little chicks you ever seen. At the end of the dinner, they were all still there looking at us. They eat the hives. They wouldn't touch them. She made a whole pan of them. So the kids could all have one, she said. <laughs> it was time consuming, too. I said, Mama, your little chick family's still here. We had to chop them up into egg salad. <laughs> Nobody wouldn't eat the chicks. So I don't remember. Reckon... Oh, how cute. Go get a hive. They so the next chicken. year, the next no, year, she chicks. did it. She did it, but she only made three of them and put them in the center of the others. And they were still there at the end of the dinner. So, uh, you know, it's what you want to do. But there's some different stuff like that you can do for Easter dinner. Uh, if you try our Saba salad, that's good for Easter. And you can change from orange to another color of jello, but we always do orange jello and lime jello. Orange and lemon. You can make it with tropical fruit cocktail. Uh, instead of just the bananas, you can do different little things to it. But um, a jello salad is good. Broken glass salad is good. It's different colors of jello, and you chop it up and put it in a bowl. Um, one thing I love for any kind of dinner, but Easter seems to be the perfect time to bust it out, is a seven layer salad, like in a compote bowl. The, you want it about that big around and about that tile and clear, and you put your layers, seven layer salad or uh, and you put the peas and the bacon and uh, mayonnaise and lettuce and um, you can put all kinds of things in it. We make more than seven sometimes. We make more than seven. Because I think usually in the original, the mayonnaise and the sugar and the cheese was three. We don't count the sugar. Because you put a little sugar on top of your mayonnaise at the very top of it. Um, so that's good for Easter. It's a salad. It's a way of having a salad and not having to do dressings and croutons and all that. And a lot of people want a green salad with their meal. Those are quick and easy and they can just dip straight down through it and they get a salad, they get the peas. It's like a instant salad and you can have that um, for, your, for your meal. Um, a delicious carrot cake, if you can get you a good carrot cake, that's a great Easter dessert. Mom, do you think of anything else? Right off the top of your head. No. Um, it's important what kind of meats they want to have. Yeah, it would depend on your meats. Um, sweet potato casserole was, would be good. It's it's bright orange. It's flavorful. Um, roasted vegetables is good at Easter. Just some sweet potatoes, and you know you can get different colored carrots. You can get the organic purples and, and roast them on a big platter. I just have a big old bowl of roasted potatoes, put a little olive oil on it, go sprinkle a little parsley on it. That's good for Easter. Hello, John and Mama. For, well, hello, Joanna. How are you? Hey, Debbie. Okay, Mama, you got anything else tonight? We're just no. we're just checking in tonight to chat a minute. And say, hey, and we're not eating anything else because we ate the roast beef sandwiches about... 4.30 or 5 when Mama comes back. She did not come home last night. 
to nine to nine, a half past nine. It was something to ten, I think. Mop laying out to all hours. I know it. Ice mm -hmm. my bedtime mm. and everything. Waldorf salad, Elizabeth says, yes, yes, that's great for Easter. That's great for any day. I'll take a Waldorf salad anytime. Pistachio salad is good. Yeah, it's it's an Easter. Color. It's pretty with Easter. Mm -mm -mm. It's good. And you can put. Yeah, uh, Daddy loved it. You can take pistachio, and Mama's done this before. Uh, you can take pistachio salad, that's the green with the lime and the marshmallows. You can uh, take a little bit of coconut, dye it green with some food coloring, and then put it on top. And you take jelly beans and just lay it around, and not a bunch, just a few. It looks like Easter eggs and grass. It's a kind of a neat that's little. That's what I do with my bunny cakes. And bunny cakes. But you can do that on pistachio also because you got the green, the light green. It's springy. And then you got that grass and you got the jelly beans tucked what in there. Just green salad. Green it? salad or green stuff. Green stuff. That's what he always called it. Dad was really simple in his. Uh, if he wrote a cookbook, you'd have green stuff. It would be <laughs> quite simple. You wouldn't know quite what you was eating, but you would know what color it was. <laughs> Uh, like he would call, um, you know, green stuff, and he would say, that stuff you make at Christmas, and what's that one thing you always fix, and are you going to put flour on them or not? <laughs> he wouldn't say you're going to have bread, pork, chops, or plates. Are you going to put flour on them? Don't put flour on Don't mine. Don't put flour on mine, he'd say. No, I, yeah, you go ahead and put flour on mine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've got the simple version. I see some praying hands. I don't know what it's for, but we'll send prayers for the knee. Yeah. John, above you, go back to the what? John, move your mic to the other direction for the test. And it's going ask on. us which is better, one or two. We will tell you. Trace, what's wrong with it? My mic. Maybe push it up. It's pointing straight at us. It's a big mic. Yeah. Can y'all hear me now? <laughs> I don't know what she's saying. Test one, two. There's not even, I mean, the direction the is right straight at us. at us. Okay. Green stuff. Yes, that's what we call it. Uh-huh. See, Doris, that's good right there. John, I'm making Reuben dip. Oh, oh yes. Boy, like oh, Bonnie Packer. I love Reuben dip. I'm, well, Reuben anything. I do Reuben sliders. I do Reuben casserole. Uh, I've had Reuben dip. I don't know that I've ever made Reuben dip, but I've had it. Um, thank you, Donna, for those stars. I hear you just fine, Lorraine. Well, thank you, ma'am. Hey, D, how are you? Mama, what's for lunch tomorrow? Oh, I had it's thought. it's kind of mama. I was busy. Today. You starved me to death today. I you know, I was working. Had that. I had breakfast night. before daylight, and I've drank coffee all day. If it wasn't for coffee, I could have starved out. Well, I brought you that much. Drink, <laughs> you did, Mama, and I didn't starve out. Trust no. me. I know y'all are saying, John, you could go there to the be. <laughs> what else is going on? Sounds good to us. Thank you, Deborah. That sound is fine. Thank you, Greta. There's nothing wrong with the sound. Angela Thank Britt. You. Thank you, man. Um, I, I know that different people have different trouble with sound. And I know if you don't can't hear me, this instructions won't do any good. But if you have sound now and sometimes you don't, this could help you. <laughs> sometimes you just have to log off and log back in. Uh, I don't know why, but that seems to work for a lot of folks, I've heard. Love when you tell stories about your day. Uh, Frida, thank you. He, my dad was a character. He was more than just a, he, and he was creative in things. And he, I mean, he was, he didn't have like a higher education other than high school. And he worked his whole life, but he could spell, he knew things. You could ask him a phone number. We don't know phone numbers. We don't even hardly know how to find them because my whole life, Dad, what's so-and-so's phone number? Do, 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 do. Uh, he just knew them. 
He was good at that. Dude. And you would ask him a phone number from years ago, and he'd say, "I think it was," and he would that would be it. If he called yeah. it one time, he knew it. He knew the number, but in his work, he was a, a technician for Coca Cola, and he would do uh, machine repairs for um, in like restaurant machines of. Uh, Fountain. Fountain machines, the cocoa machines that we buy outside with the quarters and the dollars. He fixed those. That was what he did. He he went, he did that all forever. And uh, he would have to memorize part numbers and stuff. So he was good at that. He knew his stuff on that. Uh, sounds good, Becky. Thank you. But, uh, yeah, he, he was um, creative when it comes to names. And some of the things he did was just him doing it, and some things he would do it just for sheer enjoyment of looking at me and mom go. <laughs> to aggravate me sometimes. Yeah. Mama got the, like for cornbread, you know, he'd say, you gonna fix fancy cornbread, greasy bread, or flatbread? Well, none of those sound like cornbread to me, but we all knew what those meant. Greasy bread, he wanted bacon grease put in it, or cooked it, the skillet type bacon grease in it. Fancy cornbread is when we put a little flour in it, and a little egg, and it would thick. stick thick. He, he wanted that with milk and bread. Yeah. He wanted greasy bread most of the time with his uh, pinto beans. Mm -hmm. Flat bread, I don't know. He just That's didn't. what Mama liked. He so, to it. so he would say, "Is it gonna be the way she likes it, the way I like it?" <laughs> and, um, cornbread, he liked it fixed. Uh, bacon grease in the skillet and sometimes he'd yeah. say pour a little bit in it make it good taste good yeah what my favorite way to do it but uh, he liked it and I it wasn't horrible it was just greasy I never did put much that much in we don't it. no it had that we did do crackling bread sometime we'll show you that sometime with uh, rendered pig we fat used to make crackling my granny always made it too I see you. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Uh, hey, Lisa. Uh, thank you. Who's that? Wait, come back down here. Thank you, Lisa. He was a smart. He was a smart cookie. Now I hear you just fine. Thank you, Nola. Um, I'm trying to wait for. There they come. Oh, I love sitting around the table. Well, Susan, that's what we like to do, too. Sit around the table and talk. Enjoy it. stories and old times. Their microphone is fine. It's on your end. Don't worry. I, I think our microphone's working because you can sure tell when we forget to plug it in. Somebody else said, John, you didn't plug in the microphone. <laughs> so I think you it's working. You it all plugged in. It looks like everything's okay. Alice says her cousin, and you call some Penny Coco, was fine on buildings over... In the sun. Well, that is neat. Hey, John, Mom, I love you. Papa. Well, thank you, uh, Melva. How are you? Hey, Kathy. Mama, you you don't have nothing for lunch tomorrow? Well, I've got food in there. I can fix up stuff. What you ain't you had want? no hankering for nothing. No, I really wanted ham last week, and you got that. It satisfied me, so I ain't had no hankering. Ham and sweet potatoes. She wanted that. And this today, I've been well. I ain't been that busy, but I've been on other things till I hadn't thought about dinner. You've been dinner. distracted. Yeah, I hadn't thought about dinner for tomorrow. <laughs> well, we may keep it simple tomorrow. We can have chicken, mm -hmm. and we got some steak in there. Yeah, that sound good, y'all. Pork chops. Well, we had pork chops not long ago, didn't we, Freddie? Yeah. With flour on it. And I got a roast. <sighs> May have a pork roast for the beef. Roast. Oh. Or we could do better to have a salad. Yeah. Been a while since we just did that. Mm -hmm. Fix a piece of steak and a baked potato would be good. You still got your rolls. Yeah, I gotta find them in the freezer. <laughs> I'll have to start early and look at them out. Oh, John and Mama, I hope you have a blessed day. Glory, we are having a blessed day. They're all blessed days. Sometimes, you know, we only have good days, better days, and best days. They're all good. We're here, we're alive. That's a good day. I seen two of my friends I graduated high school with today, and the man and wife, and 
I, he said something about a good day, a blessed day. I said, any time we can not be six foot under, it's a blessed day from God. That's exactly right, Mama. All right, folks. You all got anything going on? I can hear you good. Thank you, Mary Jane. I'm glad. We have ribs tonight, Cindy. Oh, Mom, that's all That's you was going to fix. We could have Thank that you, tomorrow. Cindy. You got Cindy. us on the right track. <laughs> we were going to try those country ribs and sauerkraut the other day. And naturally, we'll have to have some cornbread with that sauerkraut. So what we might do in the morning, I'll tell you, this would be a good day to have that. Because what we might do is, during Sunday School Highlights, we may wrap, well, I'm going to have to do two videos. Mama might put those in the crock pot in the morning. And then by the time we get up from church, they'll be done, wouldn't they? Two hours, no. But they could be done earlier. Because we're just out. It's from 10 to 12. Are right they frozen before. tonight? No, it's not frozen. Well, why don't you show them to them, and we'll put them in the crock pot. Let them cook all night. I'm it's what? just a little package. But we can start it tonight. Get we can start lunch right now. Cindy, you had a good idea. <clears throat> Can you, can you put them out on that? Yeah. Okay. There's not many of them, but you can put it on low. Get it good and hot. My aunt told us the other night about this. her family, and she and her family love country ribs cooked in the crock pot, little seasoning on them, and then dump sauerkraut on them and let them cook about another 20, 30 minutes. I said, and she said, it's delicious. We love it. So, we were wanting to try that, but the problem is, you can't do a live on a four-hour cooking rib, or six hours, or however long you would cook it. So, uh, we'll either start them early in the morning, about five o'clock. I can put them on when I get up, and uh, they'll be ready by lunchtime, and then we'll show you all the finished product uh, tomorrow at lunch. So, now we know what we're having for lunch tomorrow. Whew, we just about had to have salad. I love salad, though. So here's country ribs. These were, all these ribs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, were $2.66 for God's for country ribs. They were on special. They were on special. And see how they're just individual little they country love ribs. They're not baby backs. But we buy our meat on special because it's just too high. I mean, eggs has come down, but Ours so are on pay the same price so the we will put those on right now. Right now, Mama said, we'll stick those in the crock pot, and uh, that's all we're gonna do. Tell them you gonna put salt and pepper on. Salt and pepper with and a little coffee. coffee. <laughs> we said that same time. <laughs> little coffee in the crock pot about. Two of these. No, Mama. No, not that. There may not be two of these. Well, I'll use what they are in the pot over there, or the thermos. We'll get at least one cup out of it. And if we have to, we'll use water. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put a little y'all's secret um, on it. A little bit of garlic and onion. And put it in the crock pot. Let it cook tonight. Tomorrow, uh, we'll just leave it on low. And then it'll be good and tender. And we'll have it ready to go. I'm going to set this right here and get my crock pot, get my meat washed. You're going to do it this right now? Well, you said show it. You want okay, to show yeah, it? Go ahead. We'll get it started. I never discourage a cooking moment. Uh, sounds good to me. So we're going to start Southern Sunday lunch right now. I'm telling you, when you log on with us, it's until what y'all going to get into. But it's the same, anybody who's been to our house, our family and our friends, they'll tell you the same thing. They'll say, you go over, you don't know what you're getting to. We might end up making cookies for you late. Um, if you come up and we're doing something, we'll just, you just join right in. Um, that's what the South is. You know, if you go to somebody's house and they're, say, breaking beans, it's not uncommon just to dive right in and start breaking beans with them or whatever they're up to. That's just the way we do. Mama's going to use a crock pot liner because that just makes cleanup a world easier. 
if you haven't used the crop pot liners, I recommend them. Um, I know you feel like you're putting a plastic bag in there and cooking in it, but it's specially designed just for that. It's kind of like a turkey browning bag or a roasting bag. So. I'm not going to say, you know, that they're full proof. I'm just going to say we've used them. You need some help, Mom. I don't know if this is even down or not. That's same. I had a box. Here, she's on out. Alright. She's demanding. Crop pot liner, that says that right on there. So, this is what they are. They're big old vax tippy. There's different sizes in them. Uh, you just want to get the right size. Mama has taken out of the original packaging. I can tell you that. This is the next size. See, they're big. Let's get you up here and let you see. So you just take your top pop. You just put these right down in there. Just like that. And you don't have to worry about cleaning it because it will come right out and be clean. It'll come right out and you're good to go. I'll let mama do the ribs because she'll swear I put too much of something out. I didn't give her her cuts and big pants, I thought that. Yeah, these are uh, big. But this one works. I thought the smaller of the big ones. Okay. So, I'm Mom, gonna, I'm going to let you see. I know them wanting the regular crock pot ones. Oh, she says she knew. Because okay. these say right on a crock pot in pan liners. This is for them big pie pans that I was fixing in the oven. Ah, uh, that doesn't work, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Oh, right. We're done with that mess. Ooh. Did she got that quick? Yeah, she went out and came back and wanted her treat, and I didn't give her one. Because See, I think we've trained her to go out and get a treat. I didn't give her one because I know she's going to have to go back out again. So I've had to start holding, withholding treats for about 10 or 15 minutes so she won't correlate going out and come right back in because sometimes she'll go out and you think she did not because she just goes right in the yard we were watching her and you think she's just playing us but she gets treats all the time but she always gets one at night before we go there it's her midnight treat that call it you know it's eight o'clock or nine o'clock mama's over there washing them ribs mama did you decide to do this tonight just so you wouldn't have to sit here any longer Yeah, she just, I feel silly having them and we planned on fixing them for two days and forgot about them and worried about what fixed them are and somebody on our time left with it. Please, <laughs> we asked. Sometimes we need some ideas. Y'all help us out. Hey, Tina Clover, how are you? Hey, Christina, my husband. Uh, I can't read what you said there. I can't cook at night in the crock pot. You know, like smelling it. That's true. I now, was on to Teresa, the stand. I do have that. Once when I wake up, go, Mama's got something in the crock pot. What are you cooking? I just got here. Stephanie, we're going to cook some country ribs. They're the, I don't know the difference. They're not baby bags of country ribs. Um, and we're going to Cook them on a on a medium or low, medium probably or low. What are you cooking them on, Mama? I get them on high, and then before we go to bed, I'll put them on uh, low and just let them cook slow on that. And got a plate full of them. It's more than it looks when you. Okay. okay. Here. I can't pick Do one at a time. On my hand, not big enough. So here's the salt. I'm just gonna sprinkle some salt on it. There's the pepper. That crab will be salty. 
because I might put too much. We can always add, but you can't. You can always add. Can't take a whole. And this is y'all's Southern Secret Onion and Garlic Powder. And this does not bother me. Um, some garlic powders makes me deathly ill. I'm allergic to whatever's in the powder. And not the garlic, but whatever is in it. Because I can do minced garlic and I've been able to do this. I tried this just slow and easy like. Had no problems. And now I put this stuff on everything. Uh, you can go over to y'all's brand. And I'll put the link in the comments right after. And uh, if you're interested. And they'll have fully restocked, I think, on the 16th. I'm just going to show you the coffee, the whole works. It's still hot, Mama. It's not been made that long ago. There's usually hot coffee here. So this is a, what, a 14 ounce cup. And whatever it is, it's got it full. Good black coffee. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like wonderfulness. Yeah. I could drink out of that crock pot. Let's come closer. Let y'all see the whole process here. Oh, the whole process is just laying it down that coffee. Sink a layer. Oh, John, that'll taste like coffee. No, no. it don't. I almost wish it did. <laughs> There it is, folks. Lunch for tomorrow. And that's all you have to do. You, Mama, you gonna put a little water, a little bit more coffee, a little bit of water on them? I want a little water. You just wanna cover them. Salt, pepper, and we put our, y'all's Southern Secret onion and garlic in it, but you can not, or you can add your own, make your own blend. So she's gonna get the same cup. I just, just bring over a little bit of filtered water. I don't wanna get my seasons off the top that much. That's I've it. Got them covered. Covered, covered. Now we'll be eating those in a few hours. 14, 15. <laughs> it's eight o'clock now, but it's gonna be nine o'clock. So we're gonna lose an hour, so about 13 hours. It's, I'm gonna go in and tell them at church if I fall asleep, it's cause I lost it. Uh, it, it showed a, a, a little cup of coffee, well, a towel cup it says, and then a large cup, and then a, a bucket of coffee, and said that was for, <laughs> Before the time change, that bucket of coffee was. I said, I'll probably need that bucket in the morning. Sometimes the time changes bother me, and sometimes they don't. I try not to let them. I try to just say, it's just an hour, and just not think no more about it. And I don't. I try not to say things like, yesterday it would have been this time. Because then I just try to forget it and move on. Uh, but this is the not the time that ever bothers me. The springing forward don't bother me as much as the falling back one does. I've got to find and we add little ones. Oh, this is, well, it's this cute. will work. This, it's for them metal hash pan things I've got. Mm -hmm. Mommy was cooking for those parties and stuff. Uh-huh. So. Could that work? Yeah. So, folks, Southern Sunday lunch has already begun. You all and are here to see it first. And thanks for mention the ribs. <laughs> All right, Mama, we've, oh, we've worked up it. We've worked tonight. We've got lunch started. No supper, but we started lunch. I may have to fix me a mashed potato to eat with this. Sauerkraut and ribs and mashed potatoes sounds good. Oh, or fried good. potatoes. Yeah. Or, let's see, what can we have with this? We're going Sweet to have cornbread. Oh, cornbread. And mashed potatoes. Or fried ribs, let's see. Oh, mashed would be better. Than mashed and ribs and sauerkraut and maybe some carrots would taste good. Mm. Some good glazed carrots. Sounds good. Or whatever you come up with tomorrow will be fine with me. If we think through the night, we might do it. Yeah, 
It'll be good. I just can't wait to try the ribs. Something I've never tried before. I think it'll be good. I've been setting a lot. You already set, started setting your alarm clocks? I have set one of ours. Not an alarm clock, but one of our clocks. I thought I might as well go ahead and get used to it. So right now it's 9.06. <laughs> it's 8.06, but it's going to be 9.06 this time tomorrow. I have to set them in my bedroom. Yeah, your alarm clock. And I don't even set alarm. I know, but you want your clock right. Yeah, you, you're my alarm clock. <laughs> Technically, I don't need an alarm. But just as sure as I didn't set one, my alarm clock seldom ever goes off. Because I wake up before and turn it off. But... I feel more confident if I just set an alarm, and that way I know if I did oversleep. But I'm usually at 30 minutes before my alarm goes off, so it really is not even needed. A lot of times I'll look at them and say, the alarm will be going off in three minutes, I'm just going to go ahead and turn it off. So, but uh, I'll get up. So in the morning, I wonder if my uh, circadian rhythm will say it's four o'clock or five o'clock. I may wake up an hour later in the morning. My brother, Mus, four years older than me, he'd say, We're, I'm going to get up and go do this in the morning, and I'm going to wake you up and go with me. And I'd say, why are you waking me up? He'd say, 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock. And we didn't have a clock in the bedroom before he slept. No alarm set or nothing. Whenever time come, he'd come in there and wake me up. And he'd say, get ready, let's go. And it'd be 5, 36, whatever, 7, whatever. Did you say he would just say two or three times? Well, before he went to bed, he'd say, you know, what time he's getting up. Yeah. And he did. He woke up at that time. Never had a clock or uh, done it. I wake I up. Sleep if I night. set my alarm on my phone, I use my phone. If I set my alarm on my phone. Tell me it on high. I just now thought I hadn't turned it on. I turned it around to get the You had it on medium. Oh, uh, if, um, if I set my alarm, I'll wake up before it goes off. If I don't set it, I guess my mind's at ease, and sometimes I'll wake up even later than what I would have gotten up. But usually every morning I'm at 5.30 anyway at the latest, so I wonder if in the morning it'll be 6.30. We won't be that big a deal, but we'll see. I'm, I'm curious to see what my... I can trick my mind tonight into getting up an hour earlier than what it thinks it is. It'll take me a day or two to get leveled out. So here it is, folks. This is the first process we'll show you the finished product. Like I said, it's about 12 or 13 hours. Right, Mama? Yeah. You got anything you want to add tonight, Mama? No. I've worked already. <laughs> I was tired from the day, but I could handle this. <laughs> This is some easy cooking right here. Yeah. All right, folks. We're going to say good night. Say good night, Mama. Good night, Mama. God bless you. So, oh, bye-bye. Y'all have a blessed night. Bye-bye. Set them clocks.